And the book of Revelations 13, what's the name of this chapter? The first beast. The first beast. Now watch what we're about to show you of what is really playing out in this chapter. It's, it's shocking. Let's get down into it. And that's going to be found in Revelation 13, about 16 or so. Now I'm going to just read it to you, and then we're going to go over it in, in detail. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. It's the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. six. Now let's kind of go into this in, in pieces. What's he saying? To receive a mark. We all know what's going on around the world. What are we seeing? All we keep hearing is vaccine, 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 vaccine. And a lot of countries are talking about, even America is talking about, about the military. Going, uh, Trump was kind of talking about it a month ago. And now Biden, he's literally come out and said it, that he's going to have the military in the streets giving out this vaccine to all the citizens. Since when does the military ever go on the streets of America? Is it possible that this mark of the beast is this vaccine that they're talking about and it very well may be now what it says the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name you want to see something shocking here comes the shock it says let him that have understanding count what does count mean let's get into this word count in the old days they used to use pebbles to count right but when you dig deeper into the Definition, what does it say? Count means a ballot, a verdict, a ticket, to vote. It means to vote. What? It, it, is everybody understanding this? Here is wisdom. Let him understand the vote, the ticket, the ballot is the number of the beast. What? Why, why would this be in an end times understanding? Why would this word even mean that? To vote? Go a one ballot? more. Go one more deeper, Charles. To manipulate. To manipulate the vote. What's going on here? Let him have wisdom. Let him have understanding that the count is to manipulate. To manipulate the ballot, the vote, the ticket, the verdict, the final verdict, there's no final count. You know why? For all of you that are not in America, let me explain the system. The way it's supposed to work is whoever has the most electoral votes, they're tentatively, that means temporarily the winner, but each state, each state government has to certify their own ballots and their own election process. They have to certify it to be true. Then all the 50 states together have to certify that all of it is true. So what's this saying? Let him have understanding that there's gonna be a manipulate, a verdict, the ticket, the vote. Isn't that what we're going through right now? Is the count has been manipulated? The ballots, have now let's go a little bit deeper. I want you all to grasp what I'm about to show you next. The beast. What's the beast? A dangerous animal. And then what? A destruction, a trap. So the count, the vote, the ballots that are being manipulated is a destruction, it's a trap. Is the magnitude and power of this hitting you, brothers and sisters? What they're telling us is this election, the voting, the counting, the ballots that have been manipulated is a destruction and a trap. And guess what? This only occurs one time 
in the entire Bible. One time. And it's only this one time where this meaning occurs. And what's his number? Oh, we, we've barely started. You, you think your jaw's dropping now? Watch the rest of this. What's the beast number? To make to doubt. Aren't they making us doubt the ballots, the count, the manipulation that's going on? Isn't this what's going on? To make to doubt, to, to lift up, to take away, to, to carry away? What, what are they doing? What's going on here? Could it be that people have never really come to understand what this means because we had to be in this day and time to understand what this verse really means and what these words really mean? To make people doubt, to manipulate the votes, to manipulate the count, to manipulate the ballots. And what's his number? 600, three score, and six. Why is that? You want to see why that is? Do, do you want to be in for a shock? Then his number is 600, three score, and six. When you take the year 2020 that we're in, you can all see my screen here. I'm pointing to the right. The year 2020 divided by 666 gives you the number 30330. I want all of you right now to take a close look at this because what I'm about to show you next is going to leave you speechless. I don't think any of you are ready for what I'm about to show you. But I want you to look at this number right now. Take a close look at it. The year 2020 divided by the year, uh, divided by, I'm sorry, the number 666, as it shows us in scripture. And it gives us this 30330 number. This is his number. Who is he? Ready? Do you see this? 2020 divided by 666, 30330. Do you see this, brothers and sisters? I didn't make this up. I didn't make this up. Joe Biden and his campaign chose this number to be his number to text that you are in support of him. Are you understanding it? Do you see this 30330 right here? Just as the Bible has told us would be his number, the number of the beast. You got to understand something, brothers and sisters. The beast doesn't have to just be a person. The Antichrist could be the Antichrist system. The beast could be the beast, the Antichrist system. And isn't this what at least Joe Biden and his cronies are, are, are representing? The beast system? Do you think this is an accident that he chose this number? This is no accident. The, the enemy knows the scriptures as we do. This is an intentional manipulation of the 666 to throw it in your face that he, in fact, is now representing the beast system that has been brought upon the earth at this time. During these end times, he is telling us he is about to unleash the beast, the Antichrist system upon the whole earth. When I saw this, I was absolutely floored. Floored. Let me show you something else the scripture tells us. What else does it say about this number? To take up or take away, to expiate sin. And I said, well, I want to see exactly what that means. What does it exactly mean to expiate sin? To make to doubt and to expiate sin. You want to see what that means? Atone for guilt or sin. 
their sins must be expiated by sacrifice. He's representing a beast system, and his number means the sins must be expiated by sacrifice. Isn't that what we're talking about in the end times? Those who are left behind will have to be sacrificed. They'll have to have their heads, their heads beheaded for Christ in order to go through uh, the time of Mark. The, you know, as, as we teach in, 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 in uh, this ministry, that the time of Mark is, for, is the next six years for, this, for, this, uh, for the six seals that are coming upon the earth. Isn't it, is this what's going on? When he says to expiate sin to, by sacrifice, is, is that what's going on here? And the 30330 and the Joe Biden camp is telling us that they are the B system being unleashed upon the world. And they're going to expiate the sin by sacrificing people. Brothers and sisters, make no mistake. The enemy is real. He's out there. This is their intentions. Their intention is to put the mark of the beast in you. Their intention is to behead you and kill you if you don't take that mark. And so here it is. Again, he, he's in Minnesota. 30330. And you'll see this on, on the podium for all the things that he was doing. But when I caught this picture, look what it says. The battle for the soul of the nation. Isn't that interesting? That his slogan, his campaign slogan is the battle for your soul. Isn't that what Satan's doing? He's battling for your soul. Why would he pick that number 30330 as we just showed? And then his campaign slogan is the battle for your soul. I would like everyone to take a moment and think about that. What's what's it clearly shows all of the stuff that he advertises was 30330 and the battle for your soul. There it is. When I when I pulled up all the stuff for, for Joe Biden's campaign, for his advertisements, all the time on the podium, it's 30330 and the battle for your soul. It just may be unfolding in a different way than we thought. But believe me, this is not an accident. They are doing it. They are rolling out the new world order. They are rolling out the beast, the antichrist system. And we, brothers and sisters, are watching it unfold right in front of our faces. It is happening. Is it possible that what we are watching in this election is the rolling out of the new world order, the beast, the antichrist system? We are living in very troublous times, brothers and sisters. The world is changing rapidly. We can all see it. Those of us who have our eyes open and our ears open, we can see the B system is moving very quickly upon us. Let's all keep in prayer. Let's all keep in faith. And let's all keep watch. Is it just Joe Biden that's, that's, that's doing all of this stuff? What, what's going on with Trump? 